the waterfalls meandering and then you will see the river coming down and then it actually starts flowing with a lot of calmness and uh, tran tranquility. Now, uh, this is exactly the example that I would like to give in the industry right now and how the situation is. What we have seen in the last 78 years is the format of industrial revolution that started with the idea of uh, in the innovation that came through the steam. So whoever was able to control the energy that was driven by the steam, the steam engine, the trains, the ships were controlling the rest of the world. So that means they had a big say on the trade. Same way, this innovation actually then moved on and then it became electricity. So one more wave of innovation came, that was innovation of electricity, and whoever had electricity in their control would control the rest of the trade and the industry. And then came the mass industrial production, that means I produce things of beyond the need of what the demand is, I create the demand. Earlier the cycle was, it was all based on how I produce matching the needs of the demand, but now the situation came where I produce a large number and thrust it into the market and create demand. So the era of industrialization with huge production came into prom prominence and then came the phenomena that we call as automation. So that was the next wave of innovation. Now, now we are entering a stage where all this has gone past and we are coming into the sixth wave of innovation. That is more on intuitional design. That means products and services are being created out of things that are not yet being told or said to design things.